sıralarla kalmayacak. Belki tüm beşeriyeti birbirini sevmeye, bu müşterek sevgiye mani olan nazi hurafelerini silmeye, dünyayı su ve huzur sahasına Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Turkey. So today I am in Alsancak. It's raining, like over there. I don't know if you can tell. So today is actually October 28th, but when I post this video, it's gonna be October 29th. And October 29th is the anniversary of the Republic of Turkey being founded. So it's a really important holiday in Turkey. And I am going to go to this building right there. I will show you up close in a minute. This is the Ataturk Museum. And if you don't know who Ataturk is, he was the founder and president, first president of Turkey. So I'm gonna take you guys with me. Later, I'm gonna meet my friend Munia. And yeah, let's go. You guys check that weather out though. Look at that weather. Ugh. I'm so sick of wearing these masks, but what are you gonna do? Okay, anyway, so this is the building. Oh, that's a good thumbnail. So this is the building and I guess Ataturk used to stay here when it was a hotel. So this building used to be a hotel and then before the hotel, it used to be like a place where they held political meetings or conferences, something like that. Somebody can correct me <laughs> if I'm wrong. Um, and then I think in the 1940s they changed it into a museum and so now this building is a museum and it's called Ataturk's Museum and the man on all the flags is Ataturk. Okay, Ugh. okay so there's a slight update. Munia just called me and she wants to come see the museum, even though she's already seen it before. So I am currently waiting for her to show up, but I thought I would show you guys first that these little balconies are all the bedrooms of this kind of hotel building. So imagine those little balconies are bedrooms. And if you turn, that is the seaside. So I know there's like, it's the seaside. There's a lot of cars now, but you can imagine that back like 50, 60, 70 years ago, um, this would have been such an amazing hotel. Like the sea is right there. It's all like, it's all grassy. You can have like a morning walk or a picnic and smell the seaside air. Like this is amazing. Okay, great. <laughs> Someone finally arrived. Hello there. Thank you. People. Okay, so we just entered and we're now in Ataturk's museum. And we're gonna show you guys around. So that's upstairs. So do you know what this used to be? No, no idea. Can you tell me? No, I was asking. <laughs> I don't know. I just know it's a museum. I read, I read online that it used to be like, um, a hotel but before that like they used to have meetings here I, I think I've read something about that or I've heard something about that I'm not sure we'll figure it out yeah okay so this is the meeting room so the middle guy is Ataturk and then the rest of the people around him are like famous generals and lieutenants and this is kind of the decorum and that is the entrance way okay guys so this is what the museum basically looks like it just has a bunch of these like i don't know brochure style panels and they explain in like turkish and english Ataturk's life and what he did as the president and yeah how he changed the country and now we're gonna go upstairs What is this guy? <laughs> it doesn't look Turkish. I'm gonna say something wrong. They do have a lot of like, no, no, they, I noticed like the chandeliers have a lot of Roman um, like warriors on them. 
Okay guys, so we're going upstairs. Selfie. Girl, get in there. Oh, I'm here. <laughs> it just looks so like happy to be here. This is Minya. Say hey, hey. Hello there, people. We're going there. Are you ready? Yes. You've seen this place before, Let's haven't go. you? Yeah, but a long time ago. You should be able to tell us like Okay, so this is the upstairs, and I know there's, oh, check out these mirrors. Oh, yeah. That is a mirror. Beautiful, huh? That's beautiful. That is. So that is the dining room. It has a really big chandelier, dining room. This is the companion's room. <laughs> what is the companion's room? I don't think so because the bedrooms, I know there's bedrooms here and here are the bedrooms. No, that's the bathroom. This is a barber's room. Okay, then that's the bedroom. You would sit there and then get your barber done. Huh, this is the guest room. Oh, what the hell? Then that was his room. Yeah. I don't think like it's like his room per se because. <laughs> well, what's the difference between guest room and companion's room? I don't know, maybe like the girlfriend, as in wife. Like wife. Yeah, I think so. Check out the chandelier. See, they've got like Poseidon and then like a horse, yeah, yeah, I've like a mermaid those. tail, mm -hmm. and flowers. What a dragon! <laughs> it's, a, it's a horse girl with it's a horse with wings and a tail. Well, that's a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Another mirror. Look at these it's just it doesn't have gold that's why you don't like it okay so we've got outfit of the day <laughs> i shouldn't joke like that <laughs> sorry <laughs> too, too much social media so anyway this is these are alta Turk's shoes i'm sorry that the lighting is so dark but these are his shoes and then this is his jacket very well preserved and really that's a really stylish nice coat. yeah I this is a pea coat i love pea coats mm -hmm. these are actually expensive right now yeah they are it's timeless too mm -hmm. and then this was i'm guessing his like formal yeah formal jacket yeah. and then his gloves handkerchief and pants, pants oh, yeah pants. Chelsea, it's not gonna go pants i can't i couldn't it was folded in a weird Give me a break here. <laughs> to... It's hard to see with the mask on. And then over here we have more. That is his tespi. Um, right? That's a tespi. Yeah. It is. What is it? Can you explain what a tespi is for? Uh, I don't know what they use it for. Don't they use it for praying? No, they use it for praying, but a lot of people use it for stress. Ah. Yeah. That's they like... when I came here, I found out that most people were not they actually making dua. They were just oh, for stress. <laughs> I don't know, I could this be wrong. Is this is from what I've learned. This like, slash stress ball. Yeah. <laughs> then his hat, very well preserved again. Then a shirt. Then, I feel yeah, like I I've those. seen um, cufflinks. Kind of? See, I'm not a man, so probably I wouldn't really These know. These look like they would go for like the leg. Well, what? Maybe. Or the feet. I don't know. <laughs> it does kind of. I'm not sure. Well, they didn't write anything next to yeah, It's not the point, it's not the point. What, tell us what it is. <laughs> See, it's so dark in here. And then we have this hat, which I've definitely seen him wear this style hat in so many photos. And then just a shirt. That's awesome. Bathroom, another mirror. So this place is filled with these beautiful, beautiful mirrors. And then this is the bathroom, which is super pretty. It has a skylight, oh, that's so nice. coffee top, marble checkered floors. Like I like those towelettes. Yeah. And they're super cute. And then this, uh, this is the bedroom, and this is the, this is the best one. So I'm guessing this might have been where he stayed. And also it has his picture in this one. And. Okay, yeah, I mean, I don't know, sleepovers. That would make sense. <laughs> and then these windows, like if you guys remember from the outside, 
of the building. It has the little balcony and the two windows. So that's where these lead to. So directly out here, there's the seaside. You just came from outside. <laughs> I couldn't pay attention. All right, well, pay attention on the way out. All right. What did you find? Um, as a Turk with Field Marshal. Ah, yes. This is the Izmir Economic Hall of Congress. So the room is now empty, but I'm guessing they used to like do economic affairs in here. <laughs> so, so eloquent. They do. They did affairs. <laughs> oh God, sorry. I don't know. Like, yeah, 1923. So before Turkey was made into a republic, they used to use the Arabic alphabet, but then Ataturk changed it to the Latin alphabet. This is like old Arabic. Like I can kind of understand some of it, but most of it I can't. Really? Yeah. It's pretty different now. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's pretty different, she says. Okay, so this... Oh my god, this is Konak! So this... Um, clock tower is very famous in Izmir and it's still there but this was at the beginning of the 20th century so it's quite old and then this is oh my god this is cordon wait a minute Izmir cordon tramway wow so this is where we just were I was just outside filming at the seaside and this is what the seaside used to look like way back when quite different and then that's Ataturk and the, oh, the seaside again. Is there? Maybe. I don't know, I got married uh -huh. Well, they got married in Gustavo? <laughs> uh, I know in Karsjeka, they have a, um, his wife's house, Latife Hanum Tushku. It was like right across the street from my old house. Um, mm -hmm. Hey girl, you know me. <laughs> Upscale <Okay>. shit. <laughs> so Izmir used to look like this, the seaside, but there was at one point a really big fire which destroyed a lot of the original architecture, unfortunately. So a lot of the buildings are not that historical and are not that old. Do you know when the fire was? No idea. I probably cannot be asking these. Sorry. You need to be ready to answer. I <laughs> guess. <laughs> Open Google. It's, there's too much stuff written everywhere. It's too like overwhelming to read it all right now. I'm such a lazy student. In case it's wrong. <laughs> Save my ass. Apparently the fire of Izmir was in 1922 and this destroyed a lot of the original architecture. Says Munia and Google. That was not me. To be fair, we don't even actually know what this building is. That's a museum, Chelsea. I forgot to film oh, it. Oh, Jesus. Ah, show him it. Ah, Tom. Peshik. I'm a shit. Guys, there was an Umja just forcefully came and took a picture of us. Video picture. That was really oh, sweet. Oh, he was so sweet. Did he work there? Uh, yeah, he's the one who took our Aww. husband. Oh shoot, was it? Girl, you from my brain. <sighs> okay, do you want to get something to drink? Yes. Coffee? Let's go. It's okay. something cold, it's really hot. So that was a really cool <laughs> museum. I hope that you guys liked it. Yeah. And we're just gonna... It's not raining, even though it seems like it should rain. It is actually. Alright, it's raining a little bit. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, <laughs> Meteorologist. <laughs> we're gonna get a coffee. Where do you feel like going? Well... <sighs> We guys, as you may know, <laughs> Chelsea's <No>. vegan. So. <laughs> I don't think they know. Do they know? <laughs> they do. So we don't really have many options. So you pick. <laughs> All right, let's just let's just walk a bit. What did you? <laughs> She's trying to Google what a chuka is. A juka or a chuka? Google it a says sauce? it's a jika. I don't know. <laughs> Nobody Which knows. one is it? People? It's a mystery. Guys, we just came to cute cafe. We're gonna eat and drink something and just like. People chill. are gonna think it's actually cute. <laughs> it's cute. <laughs> it's literally cute. <laughs> Seriously though. 
legit. This is a vegan cafe, by the way. Vegan. Is this on? Okay, guys, so this is my vegan. What is this? Vegan fish and chips. <laughs> Don't laugh. She's not a vegan, so she's like making fun of the lemonade. And making fun, I'm of, making the fun of the lemonade. You... It's just a weird thing to say vegan fish and chips. <laughs> vegan fish and chips. Fish is ours. <laughs> I just left with Munia and it's raining as you can see like winter is coming to Izmir and it's gonna rain all the time but now we're just gonna go home and I need to change my clothes because it got really cold and then I think we might go to Ostanla for like a really quick small meeting with friends we will see Guys, we're taking Joey to the vet. We just stopped at home. He has a lung infection, so we're taking him into the vet now. Poor Jojo, Jojo! Yeah. 